Okay, guys. Now this is gonna be my last fail. I could uh, do. Let's do a. Uh, I might finish the cannibalism circles. Probably not. No. Okay, Ed Gein. Let's talk about him, shall we? Nine has a butcher of Plainfield, Edward Theodore of Gein. It's definitely is among the ranch camel serial killers ever. He was an American murderer, murderer in body and sketched. He was seen as a shy, quiet old man who simply lived on a farm, yet he had some serious issues with his mother, women, and then generally, the yeah, general, actually, in his dis issues, officially lead him to killing, even though he confessed to two murders and game was only convicted of one. <clears throat> Believe it, it not. Again's crimes and soon expired on one of the most iconic horror films ever, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yes, I love watch that movie. <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies are my favorite. So where he was the real life Leatherface. You Regine killed two women and wore their skin as a mask. He also possessed trophies of female fashion and made of decorations of uh, yeah, out of human. Flash at the beginning sent to Cedric Institution. He later died from cancer. How I can't I can't say his name, but that's his name. <laughs> I don't want to butcher it. Finally, from the all-time insane Campbell serial killer in the world is Andy Aldi. I don't know how you say it. <laughs> A serial killer? Name name of the butcher of Wolfen? Is it a Russian name? <laughs> My parents had to name their kids the whole names and we can't pronounce. <sighs> the Red Ripper and then Rose Finn Ripper. He committed sexual assault, murder, and. 
representation of the least of 52 women and children. Within the, the years of 1978 and 1990, has formed one of the most spiritual serial killers ever. Chicago, that's how you say his last name. Was an unusual serial killer who was actually driving by any range from his lifelong inability to perform sexual acts. Acts. He actually expressed his list lust and sexual desires through rape, torture, and violence. Chicago, I guess that's how you say his name, last name, met with 17-year-old Elasa Chicago. I swear, this parents don't know how you name their kids right. No offense. <clears throat> Outside at the public library in the 1981. There he struggled her to, again, struggled her to death before biting off one of her nipples. Okay, in the defiant her corpse, he also dismembered several of his victims and often removed women's torsos and the nipples where he found 